Hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about a Bright Tech Developments Limited controller originally fitted in a bus and was later removed when we changed to Hanover displays and this video is going to show the functions of the controller and some other information that's also available inside it and the first thing I'm going to do is power it up. On the boot up, this shows what version it's running. So DL Arriva W stands for Arriva Wixton Depot. And then it'll show the last destination that it was showing before the controller was turned off. I also have the controller connected to the destination set, which is the reason why you can hear the roller blind moving as well in the background. But this is ideal because this shows you the controller working as it should with full comms connected. Well, anyway, when you first start up the destination, it'll finish on its previous destination, which in this case is sorry, not in service which it probably would have had on from the night before if it was still connected to a bus. So um, obviously you drive out, go to wherever you need to go, and then it's time to put in the destination. Now, Arriva use something called mix and match, and mix and match is RT for numbers, plate for destination. Presets, you can save a preset so you don't have to type it all in every time you want to change the destination. And function is into the downloading and other settings and it is protected by a password. So first when you get out to your destination, in this case I'm going to do plate first and I'm going to press shift because then if you press 0 or 8, you can scan down to find your destination. And in this case, we're going to do Ode Rise to Leicester City Centre. And what you would do is you then obviously press plate. Ah, now I have to be careful here because the controller's buttons aren't that sensitive, so we'll try that again. This is where it's really annoying. City Centre, RT, that's better. 3, 1, and the red button to set. And as I said earlier, because we're using mix and match, if you was doing a 31A to the city center, all you'd have to do is press plate again, type in 31, press the shift key, and then you got A, B, and C. So if you press it once, you get A, press it again, press B, press it again, guess C, press it again, go back to A, and when you've got the correct setting, it'll then say 31A city centre via London Road. The numbers box will catch up shortly. And then obviously once you get into the town center if you was doing a 31a back to old b all you'd have to do is press the plate number remember which number it was or press shift go back to the grange actually obviously coom rise and then press the button again and then it would do the return journey back to old b however we also have this thing called preset, but at the moment 
if you put your destination and press preset, it'll tell you an error and the program is turned off. Now the reason for that is it's password protected and you have to go into the function and if you know the code, in this case 1234, you can then select a function and I'm going to do some of the others before that. Three, two does nothing. Three turns the back light on and off. Now, because obviously I'm using studio lighting, you can't actually tell that the light is going on or off. Four is download. If you wanted to download new destinations to the blind, I've cancelled it because we don't want to do that. And now it's going to say, please wait. If the destination has fixed memory, it'll say memory is fixed and you're unable to change the destination. Anyway, select function. So five is new code, which you can then change if you wished. Six shows the devices. Now it says three devices and then it's got S120, S200 and I... I've, I can't really t give you any, I don't have no idea what that means. If you do, let us know in the comments below. Seven is updates. Now, I have recently had to change the battery in this controller because the old one was leaking. And um, I don't know if it's reset, but for some reason it's got those figures on. If you press eight, clear press 8 you can press the set key and clear all the totals 9 does nothing and 0 does nothing well anyway if you go back to function and go 1 2 3 4 and then press 1 it now says preset nets presets enabled so clear out of it so what you'd then do is you'd go 31A, Coomerize, and then you go preset, and then if you wanted it on zero, you press zero, and now it's done it. And the reason why I've done that, because if I go um, plate one not in service, if we wanted ODB destination back on, which we just had, instead of doing the plate and the RT, we just press preset zero and so on. And that makes life so much easier. Now, I have actually programmed all the presets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this preset back to sorry not in service. reason why will become abundantly clear because I have programmed the presets for, for a different route so we do a service called 84 and 85 so if I press preset 1 it's 84 Lutterworth numbers blind updating Preset 2 is 84 Dunton Bassett. Preset 3 is 84 Broughton Astley. Preset 4 is Leicester via Broughton Astley. Preset 5 is Cosby and Wetston. Preset 6 is Cosby and Littlethorpe. Preset 7 
is Leicester via Weston. Preset 8 is South Wixton 85 via Freeman's Park. Destination updating. Preset 9 is 85 City Centre via Blaby. And of course, finally, is preset 0, which will be back to, sorry, I'm not in service. delay on the roller was as it went through the alphabet to get to X which what Leicester Arriva buses show on the rear destination. Well anyway I hope you liked this short video and before I go I'm going to show another route and obviously a quick reminder on how it works so if you were doing it manually it is RT route number and this time I'm going to do Shift X, Shift 3, X3 service, and we're going to do plate, and then I'm going to do Shift, and I'm going to scroll down, and we're looking for Market Harbour, and we've got a long way to go, so it'll go through all the destinations as I'm doing this. Market Harbour via the railway station 59 and when you're happy press the red button the little red light flashes while the comms is connecting once the com comms is confirmed the destination is confirmed the little red light stops flashing if there is no comms connected the red little red light would just continually flash showing that the destination is not set well, anyway, I hope you like this short video of just over 12 minutes on how to use Bright Tech Developments Limited controller. And you can also see it's got Paul Dorset and the postcode BH153SS and UK also written on the controller. On the back, is um, some basically information about where this controller originally went so it's got some stickers on it and obviously one of them will say Arriva as a, this con unit was sold to Arriva and some codes obviously to help the people at Bright Tech if there was ever a fault to work out which unit it was and when it was sold and on that note I'm going to say thank you for watching Please like this video or dislike any comments you are please you're welcome to add and finally thanks again for watching and goodbye.